Acadia Wildlife. Acadia Wildlife. Hello, you've reached the Wildlife Clinic at Acadia Wildlife Foundation. If you're calling about an injured animal, keep the animal warm and comfortable in a dark, well-ventilated box with the lid on, no food or water, and in a room away from the disturbance of pets and people. We are open seven days a week. Thanks. Bye-bye. I run Acadia Wildlife Foundation, which is a rehabilitation center for wild animals. I take care of about 250 animals a year, and I've been doing it. This next year will be my 15th year here, so that's a fair number of animals. I love wildlife because they come in and they're fragile and they're sick and they get better and they get stronger. A beautiful female fox, she uh, got hit by a car and she had a broken leg and she's all better now. She's all grown up and ready to take on the woods. Some releases are, um, you know, taking an animal somewhere and opening a cage and letting it go and seeing it run. And that's a lot of fun. I've always loved animals and children. This is my son, Tony Mullane, who has been helping me with the animals since he was three years old, I guess, and has always loved animals. I remember once we had a tiny little fawn. It was about five pounds. And the one it, in the photograph. Yep. Okay, and it's been, cool. it had been following its mother across the road and somebody stopped and said, oh, I've got to help that fawn. And they picked it up and they brought it here. Mm -hmm. And I had you hold it so that I could give it um, a line of electrolyte fluids mm -hmm. so that it wouldn't move. And uh, I had to make a living somehow. And um, it's been a hard living. And so, you know, it was, it was the perfect job, but it was a seven day a week job. So I could stop any time and, and be with you and take care of you. Mm -hmm. But then I'd have to start up again, you know, and, yeah. and go, go at it. And it's sort of 14 hours a day. You can open the door for me. Okay. And fourth grade, you started to have a severe anxiety and not be able to stay in class. Hi, my name is Tony Mullane, and I have an anxiety disorder. My anxiety gets in the way of everything. Fixing a bowl of cereal, writing a paper for school, even walking on my own driveway. It hits me in the head. It punches me in my stomach. Even looking for a Christmas tree might be okay for you, but can be a nightmare for me. Mm -hmm. I see you just absolutely loving film and just struggling with your fingernails, pulling trying yourself up, there. trying to get to a place where you can do five minutes without falling apart and then 10 minutes. And, you know, to have that, that right. thing that you love is what it's all about. Some of the releases are done here on my own property, and they're what we call soft releases. And what that means is we kind of open a cage door and um, let the animal come out when it's ready. So the release is the, is the reward that I get, um, and I love it. So the release can be anywhere from actually throwing a bird into the air and watching it fly away, or um, just opening a door and sneaking away. When my younger son Tony leaves home, I'm hoping I'll have that same exhilaration that I get with the wild animals that I just, you know, not throw them up in the air and watch them fly, but just have that feeling of, you know, they're going on, they're strong, they're competent, they're self-sufficient, they're okay, they're in their element. And, uh, you know, my job is done.